ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्युर्मृतंगमय ओ शांति 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 ओ लॉर्ड डिडास फ्रॉम द अनरियल टू द रियल डिडास फ्रॉम डार्कनेस टू लाइट एंड इल्यूमिनेशन डिडास फ्रॉम डेथ टू इमोर्टलिटी फ्रॉम पीस 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 नाउ थर्सडे टुडे इज थर्सडे सो प्रोबेबली uh <coughs> uh we are reading on the page uh 214 200 214 214 and there we read <coughs> about the what is called the service to the deity mm-hmm. service to god uh, but god manifest in the form of the deity in the temple therefore the bhakta <coughs> the devotees want to see his manifestation in the divine form of the temple and they think that it is service to the lord is one of the means to attain devotion and that has been <coughs> praised by prahlad and also it is um, brahma also praised that so these are the <coughs> words have been said that it is through the service of the feet of the lord that all beings be they god devas asuras men jaksas gandharvas attain to peace and happiness this is our experience and also <coughs> rama rema 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 looks me mother looks me she talked about this she says that all oh, brahma and other devas attracted by desire for material gains perform terrible austerities and penances to attainment of me me means the mother looks me and mother says but unless they are devoted to your feet unless this who is seeking grace from me is also <coughs> devoted to the lord so they cannot get liberation that was the we did and the third verse also we did brahma said that some great sages merge their minds in god in the o oh lord the home of all your you you are the home of all beings through consecration concentration then many by meditation path of meditation but there are others who follow the path of devotion eh? example if i had been narada there are people like narada who by devotion eh, end there using the service of your feet as the boat to cross the ocean of sanshar this sanshara this world this wheel pool of this life coming and going can be overcome by <coughs> with utmost ease as if it were a pearl eh? by by praying by serving god eh? they can instead of meditation instead of doing tremendous austerities simpler path is if they serve the lord then they can attain to the same goal that means you glorifying the devotion and today we can read the verse number 4 where he says go <coughs> lord only those who have your grace and grace comes out obtain to devotion to your holy feet that means they are serving you <coughs> and 
to the service of you they obtain the devotion can come to know the truth about your infinite greatness who is god and who is god who is the what is the glory of god only is known by those people who serve your holy feet the holy feet means again serve the lord simply if we say serve the lord it's better but the language is holy feet holy feet means as you go in the temple we find all this we wash the feet we pour water and we do all these rituals to honor the deity so they can not others who are such for a long time and alone to the practice of yoga and philosophic reflection if you may do philosophic reflection sobrana manana nididhasana or they may be engaged in practice of yogic practice ashtanga yoga yama niyama asana pranayama uh, all these eight fold stages of samadhi but it is it is much easier for them those who obtain to devotion of the holy feet it is generally contented in vedanta in the bottom of 215 bottom of 215 that knowledge of truth tattva gyano gives freedom from fear but in truth <clears throat> it is god's grace that grace that generates tattva gyano and therefore he alone can offer freedom from fear this is stated in the words of devaki the mother of krishna Huh? Vedanta teaches what? You know the truth, you become fearless. Hmm? You know the truth only. Only there is one whom to fear. But that is called tattva gyano, the gyano of the truth. That is gives you freedom, freedom from all fear, anxieties, worries, all things. But in truth, uh, here the mother of Krishna. whose name was devaki and she said that fear goes away if one is devoted to you love for god can take away all fear two approach <coughs> vedantic approach vedantic approach says you know the truth then you know that you are worthless you are deathless you are beginningless endless there is only one you and you so whom to fear Uh, fear means another object should be there, another person should be there. I am one person, another person is. I am fearful of you. I am in one circumstances and another circumstances. I am afraid if it comes, what will happen? But if there is no two, then how? What to fear about? So this is Vedantic. But but here, Sri Krishna's mother, Devaki, she says, but in truth. it is god's grace that generates the tattva gyan how will you attain to tattva gyan you need the grace of god unless god is kind enough to remove the veil of ignorance then your ignorance will remain and so long ignorance so long duality multiplicity will remain and multiplicity remains means fear will remain as long <coughs> upanishad says ditiya dvai bhayam bhavati so ditiyo another means two if there is another one then you fear you should be fearful but if there is but how will you attain to that fearlessness situation that is said by grace and tat together therefore he alone can offer freedom from fear he means here krishna he means krishna he means the lord this is stated in the word of devaki how five number afraid of the serpent of death here death is considered like a serpent who is bite and put venom and the people will die as eh? with utter distress so afraid of the serpent of death man runs about as it were to new monastic migrations in this and other spheres seeking in vain for freedom from fear of death people run away no fear run away from one place to the other 
man runs about as it were to numerous, not only place to place. Oh, this life, to avoid something, to run away from this life. Even people commit suicide. Why? Oh, uh, to get afraid of this. I'm afraid and I cannot bear it, so better I go. No? So people go from life to life, transmigrate, out of here. And one life you save, but in another, another life you enter. There is also fear. Look at the life from the minor uh, ant life, uh, the ant, the, all the microbes, and everyone is utterly fearful. And everyone is trying to save life. And we also, we are afraid of life. Because someone do harm to me. But is this the cure? That is not the cure. Cure is when we take surrender to God and we know who can do anything to me. If by God's will it happens, it will happen. There is a statement in Bengali. It's called the Rakhe Hori Mare Ke. If the Lord Hori Krishna, Rakhe means protects. Who can kill you? All people will try to kill. You will not be killed. It, uh, we hear also so many uh, stories. In a car accident, five people were there. Uh, recently in Calcutta, there is a story that they all went to Jairambati and coming back in the family of a father, mother, and their, their mother-in-law or somebody and the caretaker lady and the baby. All were in one car. And suddenly they traveled so many times. But what happened? This car was smashed and totally. And, and everyone died. Okay. Excepting that baby. In a car which is masked and all dead spot. Okay, car, car, <coughs> One car, car the full in the car these people were there. Yes. They were driving. Yes. For the mistake of whoever it may be, that is not the point. Right. It fell into the accident and all the people in the car dead. Only one baby. Saved. Jairam, to come into Calcutta. So now, point is that, <coughs> so what is the rescue? So who can who can guarantee the life? Yeah. Yeah. So he says that only the say rakhe hui. If the Lord protects, Bhakta has the faith. God is protecting me. Who can do what? And if He does not protect me, then who can protect me? Yeah. Who else can take care of me? Who else can give some support to me? So Rakhe Hori, if the Hori kills, Mare Ke, who can kill? Who can do harm? And Mare Hori, if the Hori, the Lord wants, who can protect? Keep the whole army with you. The whole army, million, thousands of warriors with you to protect you. It will be done. So the devotee says, God is the protector. And if anyone knows that he is my support, then he has nothing to worry about, nothing to fear about. To cross the major problem of human life is fear, losing something, losing this life. It is only can go away by taking surrender to God. And being supported by the Lord, only one can feel the freedom. So here, afraid of the serpent of death, eh, as all the human, subhuman, gods, angels, everyone is of the death, man runs about, as it were, to numerous transmigrations, life after life. In this and other spheres, seeking in vain for freedom from fear of death. Uh, vainly they are trying to get out of death. 
but you cannot get out of death because death will haunt until and unless you take surrender to God. Our regular life, you see, we are very much troubled when we run with our own sense of survival mode, in which way I will survive. But perfect solution comes when we take refuge to God. And then we, you, are, you are free then. You don't have to worry about God will take care. And we will have to generate that faith. Yes, there is God who is protecting me from my childhood till today. Protected me from all odd situations. How many difficult situations we went through. Everyone in their life. Serious, not serious. For one person's seriousness is not the seriousness of other person. But everyone's life it is serious. They pass through. And but what happened? God has protected so far. So I am here. If he does not, it will go. So to where to get uh, to take refuge? It is a wrong calculation to go for taking refuge in objects of the world or temporary beings who are there. Then they, we go to the rich man. We go to a police protection. We go to the court protection. How many days this court protection, police protection? Uh, so these are good and we will have to do that. But mentally we should know God is the only protector. And so I, I, I should take refuge in him and him alone. So this is the advice here. Having attained to your holy feet, to some good fortune, how the good fortune means what? How it will come? Resulting from the past auspicious karmas. You have done some uh, auspicious karma, selfless activity of our... So because of this mind become pure. And the pure mind has given some direction to go towards God. Our mind does not give, allow us to go to God. Mind will run for protection to other things which themselves have no support. We try to take support under a man. That man himself is fearful of death. You take protection of a police. Police is this moment in his duty. When you need, he is not in the duty and he is gone somewhere else. So we protect you. You take protection from moneyed person. Moneyed person's mood is today to protect you. Tomorrow his mood is changed. He will not care for you. So to, to where to get support? In this mundane world, it is a foolishness to support on any one, any person. That's why it is said it is a foolishness only to, to hold on to God, only to support, take refuge in God. That is the only support, only protection. And anything happens, happens. But th that big power is the big, biggest power which controls the whole universe. That is our support. So here, that type of trust, that type of faith, we one will have to carry, rather than. <clears throat> and this world is all selfish. Where you get support? Where you get protection? Everyone is seeking their own selfish end. Who will give you support? He has his own agenda. Uh, he is giving agenda, doing something for some reason. Uh, therefore, to hold. Because if you see that uh, <clears throat> having attained to your feet through some good fortune, they have good fortune, some people get it, love for God spontaneously. But that is resulting from the past auspicious karma. It is coming because of your past is good, you did some austerities, you did some prayer, and your mind was keep clear. That's why your mind guided you to, towards God. Yeah. Even people doing austerities, Ravana did austerity, and other people did tremendous austerity. For what? I want to be ruler of the world. Is that the idea? You did austerity. Austerity done, power is gained. But for what? You are asking from the God to get certain thing which you want. So you are a beggar. Why should you beg or give it to God, whatever he wants to give? And who can give everything? Yeah. So take refuge in God. So that is the 
he lies there in peace and death leaves him alone and departs. Beautiful verse. The motto, motto means these people who are mortal beings, mortio means mortal beings, mrittu bhayanavito, who have been fear frightened with the fear of the snake biting and death. Death is like snake. Palayan, they run. Run from one lokan sarvan. From one plane to another plane, another plane, running, running, running. Nirvayana Udhigachat. Nirvay means Bhayohin. No fear. No. They don't reach that plane of Bhayohin. No fear state. Run from here to another plane to another plane. Eh? Or, or people may go to this loka, that loka, that plane, higher plane. You can live there in heaven for how many? Here you live 100 years. There you live maybe 100 times. 100 into 300 or 400, 500, 700, 1000 years more. What is that? You live here 100 years, you may live here 1 million years. What is that? It is time bound. It will have an end and then you will die. What will happen? Where is the end of death? So, Nirvayang na Udhigachat Tat Padab Jang Prapya If one can really love you and attain to your uh, about gacha um, ab prapyo jadrichha adyo shastra sheti mrittur asmade opiti so <coughs> tat padapcham prapyo attaining to your feet that means attaining to your abode attaining to you only jadrichha adyo shastra eh, they become whatever happens they become shastra they become very peaceful eh? Sete and they lie, they lie restful. There is no anxiety. And Mrittu, Rasma, the Opaiti, Mrittu runs away from him. Mrittu does not come to him. Mrittu means death. Death of what? If I am one or in the lap of the Lord, who will touch me? Who is there? Mrittu. Death is not there. In God, there is no death. Death is in which is created. Human being will have death. Animals will have death. Gods will have death. Death means as man dies, after, as I give the example, 100 years, they will live quite a longer time. 365 times 100. That much year. 365,000. Yes, we live 100 years, 100 multiplied by 365, that's the Pitri Loka they call it. Pitri Loka. Huh. That so that's why they, every year, Hindus do rituals every year. They are, for the Pitris it is one day. For us it is one month, lifetime. Our one year is there one day. If you go to the higher plane, eh, our hundred year is there one hour maybe. If you go to the uh, more higher plane, it will be, they live longer in that plane. That's all. But they have to die. Accepting being united with God or in, in being getting the absolute knowledge of the Lord or being one with God, they when you are one with God, where death will come? There is a question of death. That's not. There is no birth. There is no death. He said for the body. Body is not there. Where is the body then? If you totally get uh, uh, infused into or absorbed into God, yeah. then where, where is your body? Body, body. You don't know. You are not identified with body. The whole world remains. It is not you. You are... Death cannot touch you. The eye which is thinking, I connected with the body, that eye connects with that side. On God. See, if it is connected on that side, so who will kill that eye? This eye is killed because this eye now, I think I am the body. So anything happens to the body, I feel I am heart. 
anything happens to my mind, I think, oh, I am very much offended. So, happening to the body, we say, I, I, I. But beyond that, who while is I? Note says the truth of this will be realized when we remember that all efforts of living beings from the amoeba to the most civilized man are for self-preservation, which means keeping away from destruction. Life is thus a constant flow of fear and death, which is the source of that fear, is itself called fear. Uh, the, the life thus is in a constant flow of fear. Every life is going on a flow of fear. One fear goes away, another fear. Oh, if it happens, anyhow that problem goes. Oh, if that happens, another fear. That goes, another fear. It's a flow of life, but it is a constant fear one after another. You conquer one, another comes, another comes. So life is thus a constant flow of fear and death, which is the source of all fear. Why you are fearful? Because I will die. I don't want to die. So death is the cause of fear. If there is no death, there is no fear. If, if no one can hurt me, then why shall be fearful? Is itself called fear. That's why it is called the source of fear is called, that means death is equal to fear. It is stated that ultimately freedom from destruction, that is from fear, can be had only at the feet of God. So only fearlessness comes when one goes to God. So, shall we end like this? Half a huh? No, I'm saying, I don't wish to just end the book in this uh, half a third way in the middle, uh, but uh, also it is a yeah. Huh? No, no, I can Yeah, no, I'm for today is the question, but whether I will continue or give up, it's a going on for so many years. That's my little sentiment is there. Give up why? This class itself, Thursday class. Well, Nisha is not going to be here forever. I, I know. <laughs> no, 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 we cannot. She will go away, maybe some Monday she is going away. Is it not? Sunday. Sunday she is here, Monday she goes away. She is trying to find a house here. Okay. To, to okay. If she can get some. Uh, so, but anyhow. That is, so I think that uh, let us decide uh, better if, if this goes on, I have tried. So if any request comes again, then we can start this Thursday class. Otherwise Tuesday class will be there on. Then it will be on. Tuesday will be on, but only Thursday. Thursday yeah. yeah. It, is, it is meaningless. That's true. Uh, only no, one. you, not for you, but you. I enjoy talking, but it, is, it does not... Go, go to you also know so many uh, repeatedly listening again you know, and again. I, I love it. Yeah, how I how? never hear enough about God. So <laughs> no, never. It's better to like whatever it is to announce officially. Yeah, see. Yeah. So I'm saying that today probably we'll end <laughs> the class on Thursday today, and next Thursday there will be no class and onward, okay. and we'll be giving an one email uh, announcement. Okay. Uh, for which Durga has a yeah. name, but thanks to for it, unless there is any new request comes, we can start up again. Yes, yes. But for the time being, yes. let us end the Thursday class today, okay, sorry. because it is uh, time-wise also. Uh, I do not know why it is happening like that in every. Many uh, <coughs> of mothers will. Right. Yeah, people are not even coming online also. That is interesting. But people watch it online on Tuesday. But Thursday, on online you don't have traffic. But why people don't watch on Thursday also? <coughs> yeah. That's very interesting. So no viewer yet because we started late also. Many people may not be able to. Not, 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 not,
No, only Ashok is very sincere, he goes on. But anyhow, uh, we tried so much, and there are so many good things, people can go to that. And of course, Tuesday classes will continue. The same, same, same book will continue on Tuesday. Why don't you next Thursday? Thursday, yeah, you can take a little rest. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Hi Om Tat Sat Sri Ram Krishna Arpanam Astu That's it. Ego look like I'm going to take a seat. Can it take a seat? It open college and equity. Eta. Eta song related. Eta is the way. What put the day? Eta. 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 Eagle Talikitan, I cloud Hanta Nisho. Eagle of a doctor Nathan, like you. Nadi Ronisho, a child, hot of Kuriki. A eulet tea in a eulet tick tack at Alam Halaku, I can open Kuriki. Let us go for a cup of tea. Good, Swamiji. Have to chat here.